Christy, the second day of uh, this morning, summer, and uh, we were on a couple of weeks' holidays uh, there the previous two weeks, and I must admit, around the swimming pool, every other woman had that book. You that know book. the book I'm talking that about. That racy book. Yes, that racy book. No shame either, just all well, sitting there reading Fifty no Shades shame. of Grey, obviously, we're talking about. Yes, I've read it, I've mm -hmm. read it. Enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Makes you think. Does it? <laughs> but actually, it's made a lot of people think because in the papers today, they're talking about um, some of the classic books now are going to be given a well, kind what, of what do you mean? 50 what sorts? Shades of like Grey. Like what? Alluded to. Will now be given the whole full steamy treatment, okay. apparently. Yeah. When well, this is called um, Mummy Porn, or to give it its better title, Female Erotic Fiction. Mm. And today, what we're going to be doing is speaking to a woman whose experience of this sort of an amazing story yeah. and a warning in that. Well, she's too. saying it's all been romanticised. The whole kind of sadomasochism thing. It'll be very interesting talking to her a little bit later. Um, also, an awful lot for you to see today. We've got a brand new summer series, so have a look at what's brightening up here this morning. Or this morning. What a group of Jesus is called. Jesus. Yes. Is it <laughs> a gang of. A... Anyway, uh, and don't forget, you saw it there, the first of our new summer films. It is called. It's called A Right Old Carry On. Yes. Uh, that's at midday, don't miss that. Now, he was soaking up the Costa Blanca sunshine yesterday in Benidorm, but he's back in the hub today, and he has promised that he will show me his white bits. So come on, Matt or Johnson. Or in his case, well, lots of things to get you thinking there. Mm, yeah. Pictures, photographs at birth. Well, I would hire someone, because well, you, you, so can't, you can't rely on the fathers to do it properly. Hair dried, full makeup. You no, wouldn't no but they, the ones they've shown are all lovely black and white, kind of nice moody ones. It's the reality, which is all sweaty and pale, like mine, mm. that you took. In fact, you came and your camera didn't work. I didn't take any pictures. Well, exactly. I rested my case. <laughs> and we had to get a disposable. Nor did I. We, we didn't, had to get we don't a have any pictures of you giving anyway, birth. It would be ridiculous. Like, no, not giving birth. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> no. I don't want that bit. Anyway, we'll That's talk about this in a minute. <laughs> we'll talk about this in a minute. That's somebody else. And uh, yeah. we're, we're going to talk to a mother and daughter this morning, and they are living with only 15 years old. This is a premature ageing condition, and it's very, very difficult, obviously, for them to live with. Talking to them a little bit later. You put it all together, here's what you get. Uh, we're starting uh, with a look through the papers. Uh, we've got Brooke Kinsella here. Good and it's all Olympic talk, 10 yes. days to go, the Guardian asks, what could go what wrong? Could... Exactly, that's the problem. They don't know how many they're going to have. People that have been crying out for jobs the past few years that could have been trained up to do but, this. Hold on a second. I registered, I, I did some training. And... Are they officially open? Who can use them? Um, and that's of course, bus driver, that's your job and your job is so you didn't have to rely on your sat -nav. And the amount of people who will probably get stitched up with these fines because decades uh, yeah, and still, do. if the doctors don't have confidence... I have to get a doctor to lift me off the ground to take pictures of somebody giving birth. If you would not think, to have a professional there... But but you really you're not going to go up and say, just hold it there, hold it! <laughs> no. yeah. And I say... Yeah. I like changing my mind. Yeah. Yes, but, you know, if you're trying to plan something and you say, shall we get out to do something this evening, shall we do tomorrow, I don't want maybe. 60 words a day, though, we said. I, know, <laughs> I think yeah, she get on really. and have a right to reply. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just know what you think about all those stories. Matt's mm. in the hub uh, waiting for those, and uh, we're going to be camping it up. Well, we might be. We might and we might not. We might not. Yeah, we'll we see. Might, we we'll might. see. Yeah, OK, we'll see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> Louis Spence, then again, who knows, after the break. Hello. Ah, oh, it's my husband. Are you on air? Yes, we're on. You just walked oh. through my shop, but well, never I have, mind. I have no communications Hello. whatsoever. Back. I'll tell you what's happening, right? Okay. I'm going to do this, and then we're going to do camping things. Yeah, because we're outside now, as you probably guessed. Now, if camping is your holiday, what's the luxury end of the scale? Well, tents is what we're talking about, yeah. and it brings me back to the smell of uh, summer. I always knew summer began when my dad would get out of the, the loft, the tent. And a matter of fact, I'm probably it's still up there. It's all Yeah, but it's lovely. It's lovely, and you go inside there, and you feel that balminess and that heat. But if you like a little bit more luxury, our competition could be for you. Holiday mm. to Marbella, brand new convertible, and £30,000 in cash. Now, as Ruth was saying earlier, camping season is upon us, but before you head out into the wilderness, we wanted to make sure you are ready for absolutely yes, anything. Yes, we did. So we've entrusted this piece of public service broadcasting to one of Britain's most capable experts in camping. That is, of course, the one... Hello, how are you? You're really... Tea. We're going to do wind... That's coming. not your normal. I wondered why. No, this is my normal attire, darling. Yeah. Who is in tent number one, Louis? Oh, she'd really slipped up oh. this one. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, there's more than one. Hello. 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 Yeah, very good. So, oh, um, Louis, pitchability for, well, for erecting you... this for our first little Sarah tent Sarah and thank you very much. Thank, thank you very much. Your camping tent. Right, so it's there. the Man yeah. Festival Right, tent, tent number pack. two. Uh, Don't you this just love is... this? Wish, Wish you, you were, were here. here tent. Yeah, Lots right. Of, where's the entrance? 
Oh, darling, don't. Uh, it's all right. Can I know where entrance is? Right, so we gonna... actually let's do wind and rain. Let's wind and rain, rain room. Oh, you are naughty. Oh, don't, naughty. Eamon, you're so naughty. You just fancy crawling around on your hand and knees. Yeah, and it's... You know what? It's yeah. all right, yeah. It's OK in Practicality here. is... You know what the is? Let's talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's really Love good. Yeah. No, it's... Here. So, I think that looks very substantial, so it, it'd be interesting to see. And we like substantial. The big reveal. Your wet T-shirt look. The Where's big the reveal. Door? Where's OK, the door? here we go. The big reveal. Who oh, is sorry. in the Van Gogh Airborne tent? Oh, OK, we get it. Right, let's have a look. Oh, hold on, darling, I've got a... Oh, she's very, very secure. Inside. Yeah. Yes, no. It's <laughs> lovely. Look, you've got look, all separated oh. compartments here. Well, this is a house, oh, this hey. is. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's it, that one, darling. <laughs> yeah. Right. So I... You... Um. <laughs> Changing in the tent or whatever you're going to do there. And we're going to get all soapy inside the studio uh, after this with Sharon. Good to see you again Tuesday, Eamon and Ruth, on your summer this morning. Yeah, we're talking to uh, mother and daughter Trace Time, because you know, your daughter Zara has it, and one other of your daughters, I think. Is there any treatment at all? I know at the moment there's no cure, but no. is there any treatment that can, with collagen or something that they... Um, Zara, did you notice from a very early age that you thought she had inherited a baby? Or from a baby. Had? And Zara, yeah. when did you think... I am different from other children. When I was like... Well, Zara is 15. Like, what, what kind of experiences have you had of bullying? Um, group, group of friends. And then... Unwanted kind of romantic attention from guys. What about we're talking to, to Mum about, you know, the decision to have children. Do you see yourself in the future? Cheers, Mr Matt. There is suspicion in the square. There is seduction in the street. And a new face in the Dales. Yeah, just another busy day in soap world, really. Um, well, that oh, was a big decision. Well, come on to yes. him and come on to him and Laura. Oh, oh, wow. And then he's going. Well, let's hope it's not to split. The She's a fool for love. You'd think tearing up. Thing. I was reading in the newspapers, I'm not sure if this is true or not, but Perry, who. To carry, he's absolutely terrified, but he will all route to try and look for potholes. Let's have a look. <laughs> oh, so oh. Hmm. Mm. She's not happy, Classy. whoever she is. Break, yes. Dropping into the studio here. The first of Vic D from Superstar. Jodie telling us about that. And we're talking about Fifty Shades of Grey. We are. Well. See you after <gasps> mm -hmm. To see you again, Eamon and Ruth here. It's your Tuesday summer this morning and we are live until... Until 12.30. It's very we, nice to have your yes, company today. We're in pre-recorded mode. Yeah. Uh, and still to come with the rise in female erotic. Because we don't look our best ladies, really, do we? In the throes of labour. Really? Mm. Not sure I'd want that. I'm not afterwards, there. afterwards, you've had time to blow dry your mm. hair, mm. put a bit of gloss on. Mm. That would be nice. Okay. Well, thanks uh, for taking part in that. It would also be very, very nice is our Summer of Luxury competition. Yeah. An incredible prize and um, your first chance to win the Mini, the Money, and the Marbella. Here's the details. This um, Fifty Shades of Grey book, it has absolutely amazed me, not through reading it, but through seeing who is reading it. Would you read it? I don't really read fiction. I read, I read yeah, factual stuff. But, however, as I say, going on holiday, going through the airport, watching people buy it in the bookshops, being at the hotel, watching people ha read it around the pool... When you say people, it's mostly women. We saw... Well, I don't think I ever saw a man reading no, it. No, no, it was all women. But, um, and, and even, you know, E.L. James, I've interviewed her, the, the author, about all of this, but it is absolutely a phenomenon. Now, it hasn't only stormed uh, the, the book charts, uh, but it, it has a, a take on Throat swimwear. Bring out the bombshell. What have we got here? Well, we've got a bit red and we've teamed it with... Yeah, yeah we like it's, that. it's fun. Thank Look, thank lovely, lovely thank you. Um, do they do them? <laughs> well, and £142 on it, Joe. A flirty, fun look. Now, again, accessories straight away. This is what gives it the retro. And then we've teamed it with these fabulous shoes. And what's great about these, they have a... It's okay. good to keep the sun off your face, Damon. Remember that. And it's from Toast. In fact, the, the um, floral prints as well. Exactly. And the pretty ruffles and this lovely um, strap here. So it's... it's good to see Welcome back. Now, uh, pair up six celebrities, OK? Give them a map. Yes. Something to drive. Very good and idea. And then you send them off out into the glorious British summer. Well ish mm -hmm. summer okay yeah what well happens? on paper it's a great idea yeah. <laughs> uh we couldn't guarantee the weather of course but the uh we did manage to send them off on a road trip they would never forget Ross. no matter how much therapy they had <laughs> yeah this is the first of our new series it's called a right old carry on and uh, cheryl ferguson and alison hammond became unlikely sister act 
that's the scary <laughs> bit. <laughs> you, know, you see those films like Wrong Turn and all that yes, sort of thing. Don't go like, down don't. there. <laughs> <laughs> we oh, were on, the we were on holiday camping. and I went down the wrong road very late at night. Last week. You did, you took us down, then you kept going. When and I said, we this, road, this road is unmade, I kept saying, turn back, and you just kept going, and I nearly took the exhaust off the car. Mm -hmm. It was mm -hmm. all very frightening. But you've done that camper van holiday and tent and all that we sort did of thing. We started off with tents, and then we ended up with a camper van, which I loved. Mm -hmm. But it was, you know, it was quite basic, my camping days. Yes, I know, darling. Yes, we had to go deep into the woods with yeah. the torch and the toilet mm -hmm. roll. <laughs> Funny, that is what you always remember about holidays like that, the smell. <laughs> No, no, and by that I mean like the canvas and, you know, like the open, I know what you meant. all that sort of thing. Hopefully. The final part, as you've heard there from our narrator, uh, Alison Shell's Campsite Capers, on tomorrow's programme, but still to come today. Yeah, we've got last night's superstar. Um, well, good luck with that. Great competition. Do have a go at that one. Um, Curvy is a good word, isn't it? <laughs> Curvy is a good word.